It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Pittsburgh Steelers. All that and more coming up next. At the confluence of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela, we are here at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on their in-state rivals to the west, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a third round pick back in 2018 out of Oklahoma State. It's Mason Rudolph. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp, he sees the field really well, and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Harris starts to drive on the ground. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up second and seven. Out of the gun, Rudolph. Got his man, it's Warren. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. They'll give him four yards there. And this will wind up being a third and three. Now run straight ahead with Warren. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stuff the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players, it gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can carry this throughout the game. Now on fourth down, Presley Harvin on to punt for the Steelers. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Philly's offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield and don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. At 
after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 20. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing his hurts. And to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well on field across the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. A free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Here's Hurts to throw. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. He's to the 15. And finally wrestled down at the 11. A well-executed 22-yard gain. First down. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Now a first and 10 at the 11, as they've got it as we resume action. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically, second and seven. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. They'll try and run here with Swift. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. <laughs> the offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll try and run the option. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. Well, they got the ball already. They're not going to risk the yardage and running another fourth down. They decline it. And what was that they taught you in law school, that possession is nine-tenths of the law? I didn't go to law school. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Well, I figure I'm going to put. I'm going to give that to you anyway. <laughs> possession is nine-tenths of the law. And it's nine-tenths of this game, too, having the football counts. You're so litigious. <laughs> 
Harris running straight ahead. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely... Over the middle, and there's a diamond catch. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. And he did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. Rudolph on first down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now a second and 10. Here's Rudolph. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one goes for 36 yards. One of the first big plays we've seen in this football game, and could that be the play that gets this game jump-started? It's taken a while as both teams have tried to settle in. Maybe now the pace will accelerate. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Back to the air, Rudolph. Got an open man, it's Pickens. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. From the red zone now, Rudolph. Open man is Johnson. Touchdown Steelers. Deontay Johnson. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Steelers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. <laughs> Extra point put through by Boswell, and it's now a 7 nothing game. touchdown. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half with his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Hurts. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially 
if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. That has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Hurt sets up to throw it. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that's the kind of play that was lacking all the way through the first half. Maybe this can give them a little bit of a spark because they're not out of this game by any stretch. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime, Minks, had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Complete to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, 51 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So that drive spanned five plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone.
So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. Iguabuque to return it from his end zone here. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Take a look at Deontay Johnson as this offense runs back out. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once, but boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, <laughs> don't you? Yes, yeah, you do. You get, you, here. you get greedy in a good way. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Back to throw Rudolph. Complete. It's Johnson. And Johnson going to have a Steelers first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Rudolph looking to throw it. Again, it's Johnson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Second and five. They hand this off to Harris. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. It'll be a pickup of four, and it winds us down to the end of the third quarter. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. In motion left goes a tight end. Now a play fake, and it's Rudolph. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It would be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball. That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. A short one there to fly to And a nice stiff arm that opens room to run. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They'll fake it. Now Rudolph. It's brought in by Harris. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now second and three. On the give, this is Harris. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. A big play here, third and two. Rudolph looking to throw. And it is caught. And he will have the Steelers first down. And he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. First 
Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Harris. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead. So how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Harris going to get it again on second down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Well, just a gigantic play here, both sides. This is third and inches. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. And Harris is not going to get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. Boswell's kick is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drop. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. For the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down 10-7, a minute seven remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Swift out of the backfield. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Here's second down. Back to throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. He'll look to throw. And that's complete to Brown. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains, and they save that final timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Back to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Here's a second and seven. 
And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. They'll come up now on second down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This for all the marbles. And a penalty flag comes in as Edwin winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. And you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? And his kick is gone. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. And we need overtime to decide this one. After four quarters of play, we're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So it's the Steelers who will have the first chance to go down and score here in overtime as we are back underway. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles. <laughs> My palms sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime. And as we know from here on out, any points win this football game. I'll throw you a towel as well, partner. I've got one for myself. But let's face it, our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. Both of the field goal kickers active here early. Can one of them become the hero and end this thing? Rudolph throw into the hands of Pickens. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. It's third and four. Big play here, trying to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. Rudolph. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Give that sack to Kobe Dean. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still could prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. The Steelers send out their punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. But we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face. 
good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing his hurts. This will be caught by Brown. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and four. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. First down, and they go with Swift again. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. They go play action with Hurts. Oh, and that is incomplete. Over the time worked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. One overtime, how about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. How about that, partner? Not only a fourth down conversion in a tie game, a fourth down conversion in overtime in a tie game. And so many factors go into making that call, and a lot of it is a head coach feeling the rhythm and understanding his team. Sometimes you think, okay, we better get this done right now. We might not have enough left if we let this game extend. Let's go get it, end it, and get a victory. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it, and while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. A lot of efficiency here on this drive. Heck, this may be their best drive of the game. Yeah, if they'd moved it like this throughout the entire game, we probably wouldn't be here in overtime. But right now, what you just said was the key word, efficiency. Taking care of the ball, move it downfield, get themselves in a position to score, and win this game.
So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. So they're, they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you've mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants to kick it from. And if you do decide to throw the football, it either goes to your team or no one. It's the only kind of throw you make. Complete to Zacchaeus. Overtime with two minutes to play. We are in sudden death, but still all tied up. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans streaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Pittsburgh.